Hey guys, what's up? So we're in the middle of our waterfall rebuild and I wanted to show you this section because uh, it's something that is pretty interesting. Um, so a lot of people, when they want to drill through something, they use uniseals, they use bulkhead fittings, and this is the DIY way that I found online. I've used it in my filters that have been up and running for probably 10 years without any leaks. So let me show you how this works. What I have here is two electrical conduit pieces the same size of the PVC pipe I'm going to be using, which in my case is inch and a half. Now what's interesting about electrical conduit you can see that it closes all the way. Regular PVC, the way that the threads work, it doesn't close all the way. So it's, you kind of like stop like at this point. So all you have to do is take a hole saw. In this case, here's my hole saw. This hole cuts about the same size as this. So you can see it basically just fits in there. You cut a hole through whatever you're doing, whether it's a barrel, whether it's something else. And as you can see, I made my hole. And this side, these sides are threaded. And then you put that together and you got yourself a bulkhead fitting. Now, what makes this waterproof is this magic stuff right here, PL roof and flashing polyurethane sealant. So you just take you know, this gun and you squeeze it through and you put it all around the threads, both on the inside and on the outside. Now you're asking me if this, you know, you're probably wondering, is this safe for the fish? So what I'll tell you is I've used these seals on the filters in my pond. It's been running for 10 years. I have fish, turtles, plants, and everything is doing well. So I'm not a scientist, uh, don't quote me on this, but in my case, once I let it cure for about 24 hours, maybe a little bit more, you know, read the label, um, but it works just fine. So all you gotta do is drill a hole. You drill out a piece, in this case, I'm drilling through here. Um, and then you, this is where the water is gonna come out. In this case, what I'm gonna be doing for this, for this build is essentially gonna have two T's this way and this way. And I'm gonna have water, a little bit of a pipe coming into the end. So that way the water is gonna come up from the bottom and then out of the waterfall. Um, and with also with the top, so that just in case roots or you know something gets stuck in there over time, it can overflow into the top and then out the side. So I, I know this is kind of a vertical look, it's a little bit hard to explain, but we're gonna have water coming in at the top, all full of plants, no rocks, no rocks. That's a huge mistake. Maybe rocks in the planters, but no just loose rocks to trap sediment. Um, and then we're gonna have two outflows um, and what's nice about the pipe, um, I know it doesn't look as natural or maybe as nice as you know the wedge when people have a waterfall like that, but I like that I can extend it to go as far as I want. Um, and right now I'm going more for functionality over aesthetics. And I think over time the plants are gonna build it up and make it look really nice. So yeah, that is that aspect of it. Go ahead and try this. You know, the uni seals are probably cheap enough and will give you an easy time, but this uh, works just fine for me. So that's it, stay tuned.